Oh, look at this old grandma. She kind of reminds me of my grandma. And this is her before. <gasps> what did they do to grandma? There is a plastic surgeon who has gone viral on TikTok because of his extreme plastic surgery videos. His name is Dr. Kim, although I have doubts that that's his real name. Let's look at some of these videos and react to them because they will blow your mind. Beautiful young woman. I think she's like in her 30s, looks like. Oh my gosh. So let's just show her before and her after photos. Now this is not far after surgery and you can see before surgery, she's a beautiful young woman, does not need any plastic surgery. Now I think she's probably already had some, it looks like her eyelids have already been done. Now in her after photo, you can see, I mean, what's going on with her earlobes, first of all? They're sticking like way, way out. This is just unnecessary plastic surgery. I know it looks a little like my dad. <gasps> he doesn't look like my dad anymore. We're kind of almost used to seeing Asian women undergo a lot of plastic surgery and it's not as shocking, I think because it is so, so widespread. There was a report coming out of South Korea that at least one out of every four women under the age of 40 has had plastic surgery. But this is a guy and you can see afterwards, he doesn't look like himself. He doesn't really even look like his son. He looks like somebody who would be like his grandson. So he appears to have had a open brow lift, which is a brow lift where you have an incision on the front of your hairline. He appears to have had a facelift where everything is pulled up and back. He's had his upper and lower eyelids done as well. Now the open brow lift is a surgery that is really not that commonly done. And one of the main reasons why is because you have this big scar right at the front of your hairline. Now, if your hairline stays stable for the rest of your life, then that scar can be kind of hidden, but not really, because it never really looks all that good in my opinion. But in a guy like this who has a tendency for their hairline to recede, that scar at some point, maybe in the next 10 years, may be completely visible out in the open, and the only way for him to hide that would be hair transplants. And honestly, I don't know what they're doing with his eyes, because they don't look natural whatsoever to me. So a white guy, Caucasian guy. <gasps> what did they do to this dude? So unless he's some type of an expat, he literally traveled from the United States to China, I think is where this Dr. Kim is at, and had all these procedures done. And you can see, like the last gentleman, he doesn't look anything like he started with. It looks like he's had the exact same procedures as the last guy, and once again, he's got that scar right in front of his hairline that is not gonna look good in the next few years as his hairline likely will continue to recede. On top of that, his face is so pulled tight that this is definitely not an ideal result, even at just seven days afterwards. Now, I did some research on this Dr. Kim, and interestingly enough, there's a Dr. Sam online and some hospitals that use the exact same photos. So is this Dr. Kim, Dr. Sam, or who knows who's doing these operations and how these photos are getting put on multiple different doctors' accounts? Okay, now this is a beautiful woman in her 30s, maybe early 40s at the most. And now she looks 12? Ugh. There is this tendency in East Asia to overdo plastic surgery. And you know, I'm Korean, so my parents immigrated from South Korea. And honestly, the Koreans are some of the worst offenders at over-operating on people. And as you can see, they're trying to go really for the same appearance in every single female patient. They're all meant to have this kind of V-line shape, higher cheekbones, overly tight skin, exceedingly white skin, a narrow nose with more projection, and fuller lips. And this is what I call the Caucasianization of Asians. Now, Asian plastic surgeons will tell you that these operations are meant to bring out the inner beauty in people, but in my opinion, they're honestly meant to make them look more Caucasian. So the big question now is how do these patients look a couple of months after surgery, because you're seeing the seven day post-ops and they obviously look pretty scary, but things do settle down. Let's take a look at one of this Dr. Kim's patients a little bit farther out. Beautiful young woman, my guess is she's in her 40s. She's two days out. Now 15 days out, she's looking pretty good. 
and 30 days, she looks fantastic. And she looks happy with her results, which really is the most important thing. Now, I wouldn't judge any of these patients for any of the cosmetic procedures that they decide to get done for themselves. But where I do judge is the actual plastic surgeon who's over-operating on so many of these patients. I do not believe that it is safe for a 78-year-old woman to undergo 8 to 10 hours of facial cosmetic surgery. And so this really is the exact opposite of what I consider holistic plastic surgery. And on top of that, what is wrong with a woman or a man looking Asian? Not necessarily having that extra crease of the eyelid or that extra thin nose or that V-line shape. Are Asians being westernized by plastic surgery? How far is too far? I've got my thoughts on this video right up here. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and auto-juvenate before you operate.